something happening in my ear. Hello, welcome to Jason. Jason Newland. This is Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis. Please only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes. And if you're watching on YouTube, again, please only watch the video when you can safely close your eyes. And please subscribe. So, So choose a topic. So it's, it's almost like changing the topic. I quite like that. So you're lying in bed, and maybe it's one of those where your mind is perhaps over focusing on an issue
a thought comes into your mind and you start worrying about something that happened earlier or something that might happen later tomorrow or next week or whenever change the topic change the subject in the same way as if you were standing or sitting down talking to somebody and they were going on and on and on it'd be like someone like me and just be focusing on their own stuff I love talking about myself so you need in that situation to change the subject to steer the conversation in a different direction and maybe move it towards you and your life because unless you get to talk about yourself in equal time to the other person talking about themselves then it's not a conversation it's just you're just being talked at And as I said, that's what I like to do. I like to talk at people. I don't like to, but I just prefer it. That's why I do recordings, so I'm not interrupted by somebody else's life, interests and personality. <laughs> that sounds really bad. <sighs> so, if I'm in a situation like that, somebody is being negative I change the subject and the way I do that quite often is distraction it's like a little magic trick distract them by saying something just random something about them and maybe saying oh how did you get on with that thing that you were telling me about last time or what do you think about whatever it is just something that is just more neutral and the stress and the boredom whatever else other feelings that you may have been having uh, listening to that person unload on you literally just it's as if they're carrying all these cases suitcases and they're just asking you to if this you know taking advantage of your generosity maybe I remember years ago I I was going to the supermarket and I said to my landlady this was back in 1991 probably and I said to my landlady do you need anything from the supermarket because I'm just going to go and get some food and stuff and she said oh thank you so I'll, I'll, I'll just let me think about it so I go upstairs I might, I don't know what I did, I might have changed my underpants, I really can't remember. And then I come back downstairs and she hands me a big, huge list of stuff to get. I'm talking a big list and among that was cat food and toilet paper. about to have a cat food feast and just was ready with the toilet paper for the results as I so that's what I mean by 
this may be someone unloading and we have a tendency maybe of doing that to ourselves where the mind decides to just think about something that's not even relevant at that time
why not? What is there to lose? Seriously, what is there to lose? Feel good about yourself just for the sake of it. is that negativity and the worrying and all that stuff those thoughts just stop knocking on your door so eventually if you 
don't answer the door. They stop knocking. in the way if you dropped enough ice cubes into boiling water eventually that water will cool down eventually for 